another oh, okay. peppery. That's the spot. Uh, you hold it. I'll see that pretty close to All right. Top. I'm going to put one right on top of you. <laughs> Well, you got your good solid eight, Gordon. Ah, uh, good solid eight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Up there beside the other bale. Only they're doing it different. Oh. They're not having 3D out in the flat. They're just having two 25 target trails un unmarked. The trails are marked, but the targets aren't. They're having two 25 target hunter trails. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, I mean, it's slow. You'll see. Ah, uh, not much different. I just couldn't get out of it. Not much different. never seen that. That's unique to the prime model for bow. This bow is made by a company called G5. Uh -huh. This is their prime line. It says prime here. Uh -huh. And the model of the bow over here says, says, says uh, shift. This is their short draw length bow. Yeah. Good. But with the cam split like this, yes. the cables, both cables mount to the center of the cam. And then with the double cam here, you got a yoke on here, and your string is yeah, on the center right, line also. Right, it's right in the center. And it's everything's on the center of the limb, center of the riser. Uh -huh. Even if you look at my arrow rest, it's lined up on the center of the riser. Uh -huh. Everything's perfectly set up center line. No other bow does that. Mine don't. <laughs> yeah, you're set up on the center line. Yes, it is. Is it center? Yeah, it's through the center. Nice. That's what 
this is cut out for us. Uh -huh. What they call pack hunting. Okay. Is it, um, is it, I mean, I know. I mean, it's just kind of hanging. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. It's caught on the belly fat. Yeah. What a nice two finger pull. Was that a first shot or something? Yeah, first shot. Okay. Yeah, first shot in real life, that deer would be in Phoenix by now. Yeah, it would be like, oh man. It would have scared the hell out of this one, mm -hmm. buddy. The cone's on the other side of the concrete here. Okay. Oh, okay. So do you gentlemen um, feel it's uh, uh, like it's better to have center shot? Uh, you know, the um, arrow? Compound bow? Hell yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah, all, almost all modern compound bows are set up center shot. Okay. But not all of them are built like this to where the cables hook onto the center and the strings on the center. Most of your cables hook onto one side oh. so you get a cam lean. Oh. With this uh, cable guide here, uh -huh. um, the cable guide is flexible and what the cable guide does is it keeps, if you look here, my fletching's touching the cable. Uh -huh. When I draw the bow, this thing flexes inward. When I shoot it, it flexes back outward, but it comes back way farther than this static position. Then my arrow shoots by it without touching the cables, mm. and then it comes back to static. So you draw it, and it comes back over this way, and then it comes back to a static position. Cool. So that way, cam lean is minimized because the cable guard flexes inward. At full draw. What about you, Gordon? About center shot? Does it affect your shooting, or have you always shot center? Um, have I always shot center? No. Yeah. It's much easier. Is it? Yeah, some of the original traditional bows, uh, they don't even have a cutout for the center. You shoot it off your hand, mm -hmm. and uh, you know your center line will be lined up this way, but your arrow's looking over this way. Mm -hmm. So you gotta move the so bow over to where your arrow's pointing straight at so it. So that's when you can't. Oh. You okay. can't the bow to give you that arc. It, it comes out kind of weird. Okay. Huh. But uh, you do it a couple times, you you can see what it does. Oh, okay. Well, when you're quick. I've never been able to see my arrow flight yet. <laughs> I just haven't been conscious of it. Huh. I need to. I need to. I hear. I hear. Be more conscious of the arrow flight. Look, see what it does. If it's like um, porpoising or if it's fishtailing. Or yeah, well, you could pay for test for that kind of stuff. Uh huh. But as rule of thumb is that you don't look at the arrow. Oh, you got okay. One ten and an eight, bird. Oh God. So you paper test instead of um, looking at the flight. Well, some do. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I will watch the arrow. I think it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not supposed to. You're supposed to be locked oh, in on okay. your target. Okay, that's true, that's true. That's true. I guess. <coughs> but on the long shots, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll watch it because they're pretty. <laughs> they are. Ooh. They look nice. It's like I'm out there with a mortar. <laughs> <laughs> How accurate um, is your limit of accuracy on first shot? What's the yardage? Do you normally are most comfortable or comfortable? Uh huh. Oh uh, well, I don't shoot over 80 yards. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, like, first shot, and like, pretty close to kill zone or center and stuff, how far do you think you can go normally on the first shot? Ah. Like, maybe 90% or 80% or something. It's a rough question. Uh -huh. It was a good day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess. Yeah. Hard to tell. But I've done a lot of light shooting, you know, shooting out there 200 yards. For distance, right? Mm -hmm. Get closest to the circle, I'd say. Do you um, use different arrows? 
Yeah. Yeah. Am I in the target's path? No. 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 Okay. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. Nothing like being old and fat. If I was old, I could handle this. Being old and fat sucks. Heavy side. Yeah, multiple times. So I hike up to the top of the hill. The 25 point elk on each side mm. is up there and he's giving me 15 seconds. Fuck it, you get past me. <laughs> I'm not going to waste my time. I'd never be able to hold steady enough to shoot you even at 20 yards. Uh huh. That's. Yeah. And if you did, you got to pack it out. That's where the work comes in. Yeah, that's where the bag comes in. Okay. Yeah. You go out there with a 26 year old guy. <laughs> and uh, after you shoot it, well, I'll carry out the head and the antlers <laughs> and get the rest. Okay, we go up the car here now, Luke. Yeah. I'm going to shoot it for 30 minutes. It's 60 degrees. See how high over and down the target my arrow goes. Okay. I'm going to shoot it for 30 yards. A little bit low for 30, huh? Oh, I'm following right at, right at you. Same goddamn thing. I... <laughs> <laughs> Sons of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a Seven paces. Boy, we sucked on this one. Which one was your first arrow? Uh, my first arrow is the lower one in the front. Oh, okay. The only arrow that would have done any good on this poor guy is up here. Okay. And it wouldn't have left a blood trail because it's uh, high. Oh, really? It filled up the abdominal cavity with blood. Oh, wow. And with a little bit of luck, it would have popped both lungs. Uh -huh. So it uh, suffocated, but as long as it didn't, you know, if it ran where we could see it, uh -huh. then we'd watch it fall down. No. But if the brush was thick, then we'd have to depend on a blood trail or tracking footprints. And these things here are herd animals. They're usually not one by themselves. So when you shoot one, then they all take off running the uh -huh. same direction, and you've got no idea which one is yours. Yeah. So blood trail is real important. You gotta make sure you hit high and exit low. Really? A blood trail. That's wow. why hunting from tree stands for deer is so popular. Oh. That and it gets your scent way up above the deer. Now, are these two spots um, for a reason, or is it just yeah. for? It? Uh, when the deer, when the antelope is broadside to you, uh -huh. this is the scoring room for a broadside shot. Okay. Okay. When it's quartering away. Okay. You want to come in this way, uh, so this is your X ring for quartering away. But you notice your arrow flight path will take you through this uh, lung, the other lung, and possibly the heart at this angle. Oh, wow! So anything in this outer ring right here uh -huh. is an eight for quartering away. Okay. Anything in here will pop a lung. Over here, if you're quartering away and you shoot here, you'll pop one lung, but there's a good chance you'll uh, cut all the pulmonary arteries connecting the two lungs. Okay. Massive bleeding. Wow. Good to know. And that's how an arrow kills is by exsanguination. <laughs>